Hello, I'm Dr. Chad Hawk with Dr. Steve Hoffman, and we're here with this week's Mastery Moments. Uh, Steve, wow, last week we got a lot of interest from our video posting about the polluted mind of a chiropractor. And ironically, you and I did not coordinate this. You wrote a, uh, the title of your newsletter was, um, uh, what if it's, I forget your exact title. It's, it's not all good. It's not all good. And mine was, it's not all good. Uh, and I titled mine part two because you got yours out before I did. And when I saw yours, I was like, oh, my goodness, this is amazing. So let's combine those two topics, the polluted mind of chiropractor, which is not good. Right. And the fact that not everything we do is good. And I want to kick it off with a quote that C.S. Lewis has, and this is paraphrased. And it goes, uh, a wrong road cannot be put right by simply going forward. You must go back to the beginning, figure out where you screwed up, and then move on. And that's yeah. where chiropractors are at today. They've made mistakes, and they don't really know how to go back and fix it yet. Right. Well, you know, it, it, there's a parallel, and I don't, I don't know what the quote or who to attribute the quote to, but something uh, that I utilized with my son when he was little, bringing him up, uh, was a derivative of what my dad had told me. And what I told him was that there was no right way to do the wrong thing, and there's no wrong way to do the right thing. And uh, and why that comes up, I don't know, because, well, I do know. What's the common denominator? The common denominator, and I haven't read your article yet, I apologize, a uh, common denominator with it's not all good is, well, uh, we have this going on in the profession everywhere. Okay, Here are the 17 steps to do a screening and do it right. And if you follow all 17 steps, you're going to get the result I got. Baloney! Because I'm not you. And you're not me. And, you know, we, we've got these personality cults existing in the profession that everybody wants to be like so-and-so because so-and-so is cool or so-and-so is this or so-and-so is rich or so-and-so is successful. And if I emulate so-and-so, then I could be like so-and-so too. And that's ridiculous as well. What we're talking about is the be in the be, do, have formula, the being or the beingness that is doing in order to have what they're having. And I've got to tell you, the most successful chiropractors out there are very, very clear about who they be, you know, what their being is, what their beingness is. And that is primary. It's senior to what they do. It dictates what they do. And when who they're being does what they do, they get results. And if the results you're getting aren't the results you want, everybody, including me, including you, is more than happy to look at what you're doing. But what's primary to what you're doing is who you're being. And if we could get docs to really embrace who they really truly are and find their strengths in their beingness and promulgate those strengths, then whatever it is they do will have a better result for them. So I had a, yeah. The yeah, I had a 30 minute, 30 plus minute conversation with mm. a chiropractor who's been in practice over 20 years now. His father was a chiropractor. His father had a huge practice. Um, he thought he was going to take it over, never worked out that way. And now the guy has been struggling in practice for 20 years, 20 yeah. years. and he has, his identity is not present He's, over the last five years, he says, I've invested so much money in trying to figure out the right practice management group, trying to read the right book, trying to do the right things. And it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with his procedures because they're never born. They're not born out of him. Right. They're not born out of him. And that is the key to our profession today. You get the pollution out by knowing who you are and being great and comfortable with who you are. You get the good stuff in by standing on firm foundation principles that are unchanging. How much peace can a person bring into their life when they're comfortable on a solid foundation? It's unlimited. There you go. There you go. So, you know, I think you're spot on. Uh, you know, the, the gentleman that you allude to, if somebody would have helped him just 
introspectively look at who he is, what he really brings to the equation. What would he do or not do if money wasn't the reason that he was doing or not doing what he was doing? Then his purpose, not my purpose, not your purpose, not the profession's purpose, but his purpose would rise to the top. You know, you're wearing your old CLA shirt, and I have yeah. one like that. And it's interesting. He said, my dad wanted to send me to Total Solution back in like 1990-something. I said, that's when I went. He goes, if I had just done that, I think I would have been clear. So he wants to come to Simplicity Program now because that's what Simplicity is about. That's the place for him. Yeah, it really is. And I'll tell you what. Guys, ladies, listening to this, sign up. Sign up for Simplicity. Space is very limited. It's a small window. There's This is not for thousands of people. Steve, any wor closing words on yeah, what I do. Get them? No, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up because I think Total Solution is for everybody. Simplicity is not for everybody. Simplicity could be for everybody, but the first step in this game is for you to be really clear about who you really truly are on the inside. And if you're not clear about that, then simplicity is the place for you because you will leave clear about who you really truly are on the inside. And then you're doing this and your having this will be congruent with your beingness. Said it perfectly. Please contact us if you have questions. Chad at practicesimplicity.org, Steve at practicesimplicity.org. We are here to serve you. We want to help you. If you need coaching, contact us. Thank you so much, everybody, and you have a great day. Take care, everyone. See you soon.